This week's episode of Cheerleaders is presented by Subway, the official training restaurant of athletes everywhere. I'm originally from Florida, and I recently moved to Bakersfield. The most difficult thing for me being here is I'm away from my family. I'm willing to do it because to Gabby, cheerleading is everything. This is my house in the beautiful, luxurious Bakersfield. And Gabby has recently moved in, so let's go inside. Here's like the most like used room in the house. It's like the kitchen, living room area. Gabby does schoolwork over there in that far chair. Always. Ooh, ooh. The laptop's not there now, but so she always goes. This is a dining room, like table, but all of our cheer clothes go there because my mom doesn't dry them. So there's always cheer clothes on it. And over here's the couch where we often watch movies and sleep. And then our room is back over there. We have, kind of have like our own like little like corner of the house. We share a bedroom. And I don't really get sick of her just cause we both share like the same weirdness. So I mean, we're both very awkward. Well, we'll just, you know, bite each other's shoulders. So like that. Like that. This fun. And we just do the same things. Like we kind of both act silly all the time. Yeah. In our own and yeah, we kind of both have the same personality, so it's like living with a duplicate. <laughs> Gabby is always in her own little world. Like, you never really know where she is, and she gets like lost. She's always happy and just like, da da da. <laughs> just very fun and gets along with everybody. I would describe Janae as very, very calm person, but at the same time, she's very, like, you she's know, crazy. funny. So, yeah, I think we're both kind of cuckoo. It's fun to share a yeah. room. It's like kind of crowded, but like not in a bad way. Although when we do sleep, Gabby likes to try and take over where I am. <laughs> I, I, like to, I like to, sometimes I roll over a lot and like I don't notice it. I'll like wake up on like Janae's half side of the bed and she'll be like almost on the floor. It's and I'll be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's like a roommate in college, but it's a younger version. I'm like, Tony, how do you think this is? And she's like, oh, it's good. Oh, you spelled Janae's name wrong. And I knew it was J-E-N-E-E, -E -E, but I spelled it J-E-N-N-E-S. Wait, is that what I just said? No, okay. you have oh. the S for Janae's, like, really I close. I think we're very yeah. close, because when I first came to Cali, I thought Maddie and her were twins. And then Maddie told me, no, we're like really good friends. And then at first I was really close with Maddie and then I met Janae and Janae's personality was just like mine. So I was like, whoa, I have like a twin. It feels like at home for me because everybody's like really, really nice and they're basically like my family. So it's like, you know, the same thing as my house, but it's very fun because I get to not only cheer with Janae, but at the same time, like stay at her house like all the time. So it's like living with my friends. It's awesome. Gabby sort of moved in like really fast and then right after World she's going to be like moving out again. Once the season ends, I'm going to go back to Florida. I recently was thinking about um, coming here next year and I'm like thinking no because you know my dad, he lives in Florida while my mom, she basically like flies back and forth. One of the reasons why I wanted to go back is not because I didn't like snow in or anything, it's like just because you know, everybody from like from my family was there and all my pets and all that. I could cheer in Florida, but the only teams that are in Florida are Top Gun and Brandon. And Brandon is like one of the biggest competitors for Smoed. I couldn't imagine going up against Eddie and just everybody from here because it would be like going up against like my family. I think if I go back to Florida, I would just not cheer. She usually doesn't even wake up this early, like I'm gone like by eight and then she wakes up. I'm homeschooled because first of all, if I wasn't, like I couldn't be here. And 
I think homeschooling is just better for me because I have to travel all the time and practice and all this crazy stuff with cheerleading and it's just a lot easier. Janae at school, I feel really bad for her because number one, she's a diabetic so when she does go to school she has to make sure that her pump is filled. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was six years old and that just means that your pancreas like, doesn't produce insulin so I have to check my blood sugar about 10 or so times a day just like monitor everything. This is my insulin pump and I take it off for like cheering and stuff like that but other than that I always have it on and it's just like my little robotic pancreas. I test my blood sugar about 10 times a day just because of like cheering and everything I have to like make sure because exercise can sometimes bring it down and having my pump off for so long can like bring it up so I just have to make sure and monitor everything well. She has to wake up at 6 o'clock and she gets to go to sleep at like 12 or 1 so she only gets like 5 or 6 good hours of sleep so sometimes she'll like be sitting like in her room like just like not being able to fall asleep because she has to test and all that so sometimes she doesn't even get sleep. It breaks my heart because you have this kid that works like double the time as I do and then you know she doesn't get as much rest as I do. Being a diabetic is hard enough on its own but then juggling both cheerleading practices and all that kind of stuff it is kind of hard but I don't like to like think anything can stop me. Next time on Cheerleaders. Kiara uh, has been complaining about pain in her calves. I'm extremely stressed. It's NCAA time. This is the absolute worst time that Kiara could be hurt. She is a great asset to the team. She's in the center for all of our tumbling sections. She is the strongest tumbler on the team and for us to lose her right now would be detrimental for the team. We're obsessing over this new app called Snaps. Download it onto your smartphone, find the Cheerleaders channel, snap a pic, and share it on Twitter with the hashtag Cheerleaders. We'll pick some of our favorites to appear in next week's episode, and the person who snapped our very favorite will win a Samoa t-shirt signed by the entire team. Make sure you check the info section below for more details on how to download and start sharing. So what are you waiting for? Get snapping!